Let's talk about the benefits of sweating from exercise. There's other benefits of sweating going to a sauna, but I want to emphasize more the benefits of sweating from actual exercise. What's interesting is that a person could actually lose two to four liters of sweat in a one hour time. It's incredible. That's a lot of sweat. Sweat is composed of sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium. These are the main electrolytes and chloride and some of the trace minerals, copper, iron, chromium, and urea, which is a byproduct of protein and even lactic acid. So when you sweat, it's like a mini air conditioner. It's going to help with thermal regulation. It's going to cool you down. It's also going to rebalance your electrolytes. And the advantage to that is that the average person is carrying around way too much sodium. And in fact, in America, based on our diet, uh, we consume about a thousand milligrams more sodium than we really need. And with that comes all sorts of issues, which I'll get into in the next slide. And also sweating can increase your endorphins, which can make you feel better. Uh, it will decrease stress. It will also enhance your sleep. And the combination of an average person having way too much salt in their body and sweating out this sodium, which by the way, you can eliminate on average 900 milligrams of sodium every single hour. And sometimes up to 2000 milligrams of sodium in a given hour. And when you're sweating, you're not really losing a lot of these other minerals at all. Uh, it's mainly going to be sodium. Okay. Now let's just talk about sodium for a second. You need just the right amount of sodium. You don't want too little sodium and you don't want too much sodium. And by the way, when I'm talking about sodium, I'm not talking necessarily about salt. Salt is sodium chloride. In this situation, I'm talking about sodium. Of course, I would recommend getting your sodium from sea salt. That's the best source. And I would recommend one teaspoon per day of sea salt. That will give you about 2,300 milligrams of sodium as well as chloride. And you're actually going to get 40% of a teaspoon is going to be sodium and 60% is going to be the chloride. And you need that chloride to build your hydrochloric acid uh, to help you digest. But if you just keep it simple and just stick with one teaspoon of sea salt a day, you're going to be fine for the average person. If you're doing a high carb diet, you want to take less, and I don't recommend doing a high carb diet, but if you are doing high carbs, the more salt you do, the more fluid you're going to retain. Unfortunately, when people get their salt, they usually get it in the form of like a salty chip, a pretzel, popcorn, pizza. They're not getting it from things like olives or um, actual just sea salt. But here are the symptoms of too little sodium. Fainting, dizzy, you get up too quickly and you feel dizzy. Uh, low blood pressure, weak muscles, low tolerance to heat. So let's say you're out in the heat working out and you just feel really, really bad. You can't tolerate the heat. That is basically low sodium and craving salt. These are the indications of a, a sodium deficiency. How do you know if you're getting too much? You're getting an edema. You're going to swell. You're going to also lose your calcium. So you might get cramping and the calcium could accumulate in your kidneys and give you a kidney stone. That could be one side effect or high blood pressure possibly. It all depends on how much potassium you're consuming. Uh, I know there's a huge uh, push to get everyone off of sodium, but realize we need sodium. We need this much per day. The correct thing to do would be to supply this and supply the opposing mineral, which is potassium. Okay. And that comes from the leafy greens. But getting back to the sweating, there's many benefits of sweating from actual exercise. That's the best way to sweat. Exercise to the point of sweating and maybe a little bit beyond. And on the days that you're not working out intensively, go on the long walks. All right. Thanks for watching. So if you want to get notified with all my content, click the notification bell next to subscribed.